A friend of Prince Philip claims that Queen Elizabeth II's death certificate contains false information. Hi, before we continue, please subscribe to the channel for more news about the British royal family. Unraveling the mysteries of the Queen's demise, her death certificate, presented to the world by the National Archives of Scotland, announced her passing as a result of mysterious old age. However, from the shadows emerges a tantalizing revelation, a recent literary work by Giles Brandreth entitled Elizabeth. An intimate portrait dares to challenge the official narrative. In this compelling work, Prince Philip's confidant reveals a secret truth that has been shrouded in silence. The royal personage, characterized by grace and poise, is said to have struggled courageously with a hidden illness in the last years of her life. A formidable enemy known as Cancer had stealthily invaded her once indomitable spirit. Brandreth's words paint a vivid picture of the monarch's struggle with cancerous bone marrow myoma, an evil force ravaging her body and soul. This insidious ailment, hidden from view, cast a shadow over her existence, leaving her haggard, emaciated, and exhausted by severe mobility restrictions. Thus, the Queen's death certificate, a document meant to reveal the truth, is accused of concealing a profound secret. The whispers of Prince Philip's friend echo through the pages of history, challenging the established narrative and encouraging us to question the veracity of the official version. The most common sign of myoma is pain traveling through the bones, especially in the pelvis and lumbar region. This disease, as a rule, often affects elderly people. If chronicles are to be believed in the last months of her life, the queen displayed a manly facade, attending any events with a smile. However, several regal events, including the inauguration of Parliament, were canceled due to her ailments. The last time she appeared in public was with Liz Truss, then Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Brandreth, a former MP, had a close relationship with the late Prince Philip, so it is likely that he received this information from a member of the royal family. Although a cure for the ailment was never found, there were many treatments that could have significantly prolonged her life. The biography also focuses on the Queen's difficult journey after the loss of her cherished husband. It became known that Prince Philip and the departed monarch found solace in each other's presence during the isolation caused by the coronavirus pandemic. The book tells of her unwavering determination to be by her husband's side at the time of his passing. In the final weeks of his life, the monarch barely left his company, according to the book. Thank you for watching to the end. Please share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more news.